In this next section, we're going to focus on network assurance and verification within vRealize Network Insight. So talking about network and verification and specific use cases within vRealize Network Insight, we're going to focus on three main use cases that are currently present within the network assurance and verification feature sets. The first thing we're going to talk about is network-wide visualization. This is giving us the capability of utilizing the network map to be able to do full topology visibility, heat maps, detect problems and bottlenecks within our infrastructure, both virtual and physical, along with the capability of doing path mapping between a source and destination. And this could be virtual to physical, physical to physical, physical to virtual, and vice versa. We're then gonna talk about proactive operations. This is getting into dealing with intents and being able to define intents against your infrastructure, both virtual and physical. This is going to allow us to be able to define intents such as loop detection, recommendations, closed loop actions, and define also reachability and segmentation intents against our infrastructure. And lastly, we'll talk further more about some of the intents. Vrealize Network Insight has out of the box intents that check against the infrastructure. And then you can set user defined intents that you want to run against specific portions of your infrastructure or even across your entire infrastructure. Every business has different intents in regards to the line of business that they're in and different levels of compliance that they must meet. This allows us to define our business policies in the form of intents to check against the infrastructure to see if we're in compliance or if we're failing. Network assurance and verification uses a mathematical model for the entire network. It is running a analysis across the configuration for the virtual and physical infrastructure and building a digital twin of the infrastructure to run intents against. Analysis against the infrastructure is continuously run over a period of time, parsing out any changes and looking for any updates within the infrastructure. This gives us the capability of alerting of any changes that could potentially cause an impact on the network in a proactive manner. One of the features we'll focus on within the demo is going to be on the network map. So the network map is exactly that. It is basically a visual map that is captured and represented within vRealize Network Insight across your infrastructure, both virtual and physical. It's going to encompass your various different entities, such as your ESXi host running within your infrastructure, all of the different routers and switches. If you're running NSXT as an overlay, it's going to encompass all of your underlay routing and switching, load balancers and firewalls. It can even do things like Cisco ACI infrastructure, Cisco UCS breakout with the various fabric interconnects, FEXs, and dealing with the UCS blades within the actual chassis along with, as, as I said, extending into the ESXSI host running NSXT or just standard virtual distributed switch. You'll see here a legend down at the bottom, and we'll touch in on some of these other features and how you can actually edit and customize the network map within the actual edit features, along with some new features that we've added around full screen visibility, and also a summary dashboard of showing what type of alerts are actually going on within the infrastructure both on the virtual and physical side. This is monitoring both our layer two infrastructure on the physical and virtual side. Same thing with routers, firewalls, load balancers, transport nodes in regards to NSX and other entities within the infrastructure. Another thing to call out is that we have the capability of doing analysis across the actual infrastructure and doing a path analysis where we wanna see hop by hop path analysis. Each link, as you're gonna see when I show in the demo, allows you to actually click on it in the actual hop by hop path, and it will show you the configuration data that is actually pulled by vRealize Network Insight to make that path determination, whether it is reachable, if it's blocked, if it's a backup path for like ECMP. So you can actually come in here and you can look at the packet header, and you can also look at the command that vRealize Network Insight ran against that specific device. Now, in this case, this device was a Dell S5248 that it ran this command against to gather this information and call out where it's actually seeing the connection to allow us to be able to make that determination from the path perspective. This also works against the virtual infrastructure. So you'll actually see various API commands 
and so on to be able to see the data that is pulled from the virtual infrastructure, including NSX and including physical elements such as firewalls, load balancers, and so on. We'll see that more in the demo. Now talking about the intent-based network verification. So this is where we get into proactive problem detection using the continuous network verification. This is where we're going to come in and define things like our business intents, our technology intents, specific compliance requirements, looking for network changes and network events, such as link down, packet drops, and so on. In vRealize Network Insight, you'll find intent templates that allow you to define these, such as reachability, segmentation, MTU mismatch, HSRP resilience, and much, much more. You also can set your user-defined intents, and these are where you're going to come in and manually configure an intent to check against the infrastructure for specific business-related requirements, such as if you want to be notified if a CPU is reaching greater than 80%, if you've got a trunk VLAN mismatch. You also can do things against looking for, in this case, as an example, finance users should be able to reach the ERP servers. If we see that they're not able to reach that, we will not notify you that that intent is failing. And this will generate events in the map view and in the list view, and also generate notification alerts depending on how you've configured each intent. We can send via email, we can send via SMS, we can do service now, ticket generation, and so on. We also have the network assurance and verification intent dashboard. So this is gonna give us an overview of all of the intents that we've got defined within our system and let us know what is passing and what is failing. So here we can see there's a total of 30 intents. We have 15 intents that are actually failing and it's breaking them out by category. So this is gonna be network health and device health. We have alerts by category and alerts by severity. And then you're also gonna see the names of the intents the type of intent, see so like things like MTU mismatch, segmentation, reachability, native VLAN tagging mismatch, and so on. You'll also see what the scope is, if there's any active alerts and how many, and we can click on and look at each one of these alerts as an example for Cisco MTU mismatch. We'll also see if the intent is failing or passing. And then it will show us the severity level and also the notification methods that are configured for that intent. We can obviously enable or disable the intents, edit them, delete them, or copy them. And then if we want to get into finding additional intents, we can just simply click the define intent and go into the intent types and choose which one we want and define that intent. So this gives us network configuration hygiene. It also allows us to ensure network reachability and segmentation is being monitored at all times. And it's also going to allow us to ensure that configuration, reachability, and segmentation errors are detected before a users are aware. Again, giving us that proactive troubleshooting. Here's just a sample of some of the intent types that you can use within vRealize Network Insight. As you can see, there's a long list. I'm not gonna read through all of these, but various different things covering everything from MTU mismatch to duplex mismatch, down to loop detection, reachability, segmentation, we do have SD-WAN intents that you can define against your VM or SD-WAN infrastructure and many more, including things like STIG, compliance, device health, network health, and so on. Next, we'll move into a demo of the network and verification feature set on the network map intents.